Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer from uh, Stillwater. This is, as you can see, Goldfish. <laughs> uh, thankfully, they have uh, more information on the side. Um, Stillwater <coughs> was, I guess, the Brian, Brian Strumkey was based out of Brooklyn, but contract brewing in the Mid-Atlantic, and then now he's actually in Washington, Grand Mound, Washington, collaboration with Fast Fashion. Um, curious what that is. I probably should look that up. I imagine that's digital, digital design or something. Um, it also uses uh, Seagull Ranch. Uh, it uses anchovy hops. Interesting. So it's, I, I need to look that up. And then it's a uh, Bronxalensis Pale Ale, dry hop. So um, Brett Bronxalensis. So funky Belgian. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Bronxalensis. Yeah, there you go. That's a die got static it sees for sure. That does not want to. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's can conditioned or something going on because look at that. It's just ripping, roaring at it. Um, didn't realize it was going to be hazy. Let's look at that beer. Hey, how does glass get like this? All right, I'm going to clean the glass a little better next time. But uh, beer comes in a really nice, be uh, beautiful, kind of like a medium gold color, a little bit of like sunset hue on the edges. Um, big, big, tight, tight head being created. Not the freshest can. Canned about... Five, whoa. Yes, can about five months ago. Which is not ideal, but for a hoppy pale ale. Mm. But then again, it is Brett derived. So, or uh, Brett, there's Brett in here. So ideally, like, you know, that does help the longevity of beer, um, scraping away oxygen, blah, blah. So let's see how this beer turns out. Yeah. Still smells pretty good. I mean, I mean, it smells a lot like... Um, Brett. <laughs> so thankfully, like that is predominant uh, aromatic instead of just like a uh, papery oxidation. Like, so I get that kind of, um, what do you call it? <sighs> Brett. Here, it's like um, pear skins, apple skins. A little bit of like light malt character, doughiness, crackers. Um, it's always so hard it's got a little bit of this plasticky thing so it almost seems like a, a belgian phenol oh what is that yeah like um like um korean pear bijou pear it's very like palm fruit forward um a little bit of melon character as well and then sometimes you get a little bit of ethyl butyrate so maybe a little bit of like a light light hint of um not like juicy jammy pineapple but like dried pineapple maybe cheers yeah that's just like a really nice like hoppy um brett paleo yeah Really nice. Uh, wonderfully dry. It doesn't seem like it has a lot of crystal to it. So it has a little bit of color to it, but. Obviously, I think it would have been different with fresh hopping, but uh, for, uh, being a fresher can. Um, we certainly get a noticeable, like, like um, what is it? Like a mirror scene, kind of just like um, base shelf, uh, basing kind of like a green. Now maybe I get a little papery. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, a little bit of sensation. Um, my palate, it does definitely has a little bit of just like this lingering kind of like a green vegetal, slightly piney, um, we're seeing kind of like um, hot flavor. The beer does have a lot of dryness to it, which this dry, it's almost like in general oxidation like in the real world doesn't really taste like when they do any all flavors but it comes off like the all flavor which is uh if you do like you know off, um sensory and all flavor training it has this kind of like licking your envelope like like your your mouth is like you know what it is it's like um like an aspirin like uh if you just suck on an aspirin it's like you know it's very 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 drying on your palate and you're not meant to sit it on your palate and it has that sensation, which is weird. But I really like the upfront flavor. Um, it follows the nose with this really forward kind of bread character. Uh, the beer is bone dry. You get a little bit of like light biscuit malt in the middle, um, but mostly just like a light breadiness. And that drying is a little bit weird for me. 
But again, I saw more Stillwater. I just want to review more Stillwater because, you know, there's just a brand that um, was just like definitely around a lot when I was uh, getting to craft beer. And always fun to revisit the, these beers. Um, yeah. <laughs> As I drink it more, it's getting more and more aspirin y, which I don't know. Does oxidation with Brett sort of create that kind of flavor or something like what what else is going on here? I can't imagine this was intended and I can't well I know for a fact this was not intended to sit on a warm shelf for five months So then again, I just took a shot because like I didn't really have much time I was going to work and this was a stop before work on Black Friday It's still good. It's still very good um, I'm just very curious what like the fresh fresh version would taste like I'm gonna give this a solid 88 so that is goldfish from Stillwater. Um, absolutely delicious. I mean, this is right up my alley these days. I want more Brett beers, more dry beers, more hoppy Brett dry. Uh, sort of that, this is like right up the Jester King um, playbook if you're, I mean, I'm saying that he stole from Jester King, but like if you, you know, a larger brewery that produces beer like this, Jester King is like right up there. Um, in that vein, if you like Le Petit Prince, this would be right there. So until next time, cheers, 88, cheers, later.